In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Ken. Today marks the memorial of Pope St. Leo the Great. He was a 5th century Pope, and I suppose his legacy to the Church was his teaching at the Council of Chalcedon in the year 451, where he talked about the two natures of Christ, that Jesus Christ was both human and divine. <coughs> we invoke his intercession at our Mass this morning, and we pause for a moment to call to mind our sins and to formulate our respective intentions for this morning's Mass. I confess to Almighty God, God and to and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my mistreatment's fault. Therefore I ask that it may be a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me for the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never allowed the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. It is for you to preach the behavior which goes with healthy doctrine. The older men should be reserved, dignified, moderate, sound in faith and love and constancy. Similarly, the older women should behave as though they were religious, with no scandal-mongering and no habitual wine-drinking. They are to be the teachers of the right behaviour and show the younger women how they should love their husbands and love their children, how they are to be sensible and chaste, and how to work in their homes, and be gentle, and do as their husbands tell them, so that the message of God is never disgraced. In the same way, you have got to persuade the younger men to be moderate, and in everything you do, make yourself an example to them of working for good. When you are teaching, be an example to them in your sincerity and earnestness, and in keeping all that you say so wholesome that nobody can make objections to it. And then any opponent will be at a loss with no accusations to make against us. You see, God's grace has been revealed, and it has made salvation possible for the whole human race, and taught us that what we have to do is to give up everything that does not lead to God and all our worldly ambitions. We must be self-restrained and live good and religious lives here in this present world while we are waiting in hope for the blessing which will come with the appearing of the glory of our great God and Saviour, Christ Jesus. He sacrificed himself for us in order to set us free from all wickedness 
and to purify a people so that it could be his very own and would have no ambition except to do good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire response. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. Response. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Then turn away from evil and do good, and you shall have a home forever. The just shall inherit the land, there they shall live forever. Response. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with, and with you. your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to your Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Which of you with a servant plowing or minding sheep would say to him when he returned from the fields? Come and have your meal immediately. Would he not be more likely to say, Get my supper laid, make yourself tidy, and wait on me while I eat and drink? You can eat and drink yourself afterwards. Must he be grateful to the servant for doing what he was told? So would you. When you have done all you have been told to do, say, We are merely servants, we have done no more than our duty. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to your Lord Jesus Christ. The response to our prayers of intercession this morning is Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Our sufferings bring acceptance, acceptance brings hope. And our hope will not deceive us, for the Spirit has been poured into our hearts. It is through this same Spirit that we pray. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Help us to realize that our troubles are slight and short-lived, that they are as nothing compared with the joy we shall have when we reach our home with you. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Come the lonely, the unloved, those without friends. Show them your love and help them to care for their brothers and sisters. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Take away our pride, temper our anger. May we follow you in your gentleness and may you make us humble of heart. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Give us the fullness of your Spirit. Make our love for each other generous and sincere. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. We pray for the sick, for all who are poorly in mind or body, at home, nursing home or hospital, for all those in our parish who are receiving treatment of one kind or another at this time, for those recovering from or preparing to undergo surgery. We pray through the intercession of our Lady of Lourdes that Christ, the Good Shepherd, may strengthen, support and sustain all those whose health is a touch vulnerable at this time. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. We pray for all those families, especially in our own parish, who are mourning the loss of a loved one, asking God to bring them his consolation. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. 
Patreon for all who are suffering the consequences of the current coronavirus pandemic. May God the Father may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the many victims throughout the world who have died. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Finally, we pray for all who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith. We pray in a special way this morning for Brian O'Neill and Dennis Berry, both of whose months minds occurred today. We pray too for John Killips, Larry O'Neill, Colette McGee and Letitia O'Neill, whose anniversaries occurred today. And we ask God through the intercession of Pope St. Leo the Great to grant these deceased and all our own deceased loved ones a merciful judgment and an eternal repose. Stay with us, Lord, on our journey. Let us pray. Lord God, you built your church on the firm foundation of the Apostle Peter, and you promised that the gates of hell would never overcome it. Supported by the prayers of Pope St. Leo the Great, we ask that you keep the church faithful to your truth and maintain it in enduring peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, our good for the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church, so that your flock may everywhere prosper, and that under your governance the shepherds may become pleasing to your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with and with you. your spirit, lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our It God. is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on this feast of Pope St. Leo the Great, you bid your church rejoice, so too. You strengthen her by the example of his holy life. You teach her by his works of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Lord O Son and the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy the heart that's here to be prayed. By sending down your spirit upon the elected you call, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope. Eamon, our Bishop, Michael, his assistant Bishop, Sean, our retired Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Pope St. Leo the Great and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. May this 
mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the, the word, word so and my soul shall be healed.
sacrament, most holy or sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks giving thee every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy or sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks giving thee every moment thine. O sacrament, most holy or sacrament divine, all praise and all thanks giving thee every moment thine. O sacred heart of Jesus, all my trust in you. Immaculate heart of the earth. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits thee here, ever this day be on my side, to light the guard, to live and guide. Amen. We pray together the memorari, asking the Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede for us and to protect us from the coronavirus. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O oh Virgin of Virgins, my mother, to you do I come, before you I stand, simple and sorrowful. O oh Mother of the World incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in your heaven see, hear and answer. Eternal rest, grant unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful depart. Through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to govern the church you have nourished by this holy name, so that firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with I'm you. with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.